Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this video, I wanted to share with you all that uh, how easy it is to build a simplest streaming pipeline on GCP. Few days ago, I wrote a blog on uh, Medium about the same topic and uh, this blog I would like to first go through so that we know what we are building and in the part 2 of this uh, uh, video, I will try to uh, do the hands-on so that uh, we can get the uh, we can basically understand how uh, we can build real-time streaming pipeline on GCP or at least get started okay so the overall design looks like this we will have a pop sub client that is basically mimicking the, the event streaming uh, this client will publish the data uh, in cloud pop sub and uh, from cloud pop sub uh, we will uh, get that data process it and put it into our data sync which is BigQuery if you don't know these technologies so let me uh, go one by one uh, for, first of all pop sub client is a client that is provided by cloud pop sub and cloud pop sub is a message queues which is managed by google on gcp so you can compare uh, this with kafka or uh, active mq or something like that and uh, google cloud data flow is um, a data processing engine it's distributed data processing uh, which can be utilized for batch and streaming both here we are utilizing cloud data flow for streaming uh, stream processing but you can also do batch processing with cloud data flow and bigquery is the data warehouse uh, which is serverless and uh, uh, it can ingest a uh, stream and batch uh, both type of data and we can query the data in uh, bigquery uh, to analyze it so the architecture so the design is pretty simple and uh, i'll just go through one by one uh, how uh, each of these things look like uh, in little bit depth so building the client step one uh, so in building client uh, so client for pubsub can be any data producer uh, it might be app user uh, touch points uh, or uh, database changes uh, that is change data capture sensor data etc uh, cloud pubsub provides many libraries uh, in many languages uh, such as Java, C Sharp, C++, Go, Python, and so on. Uh, and there's also a REST API available, which we can connect to Cloud Pops Up. One can be easily integrate this library into the data producer and publish the data into Cloud Pops Up. Uh, in our example, we have built the uh, simple uh, mimicking uh, streaming event, which is using a forever loop and publishing message with uh, message and the count so something like hello streaming and then we are incrementing the count and this message message is being published to uh, cloud pops up I, I'll quick, quickly go through the code how it looks like so for uh, publisher uh, publisher uh, for publishing to the cloud pops up uh, clients required configuration such as project ID and topic ID uh, so just provide that and uh, build the topic uh, name object and uh, the publisher object. After that, we can uh, build our publish message, a uh, pop sub message uh, object, which will uh, take the byte string of our uh, uh, event. So we have to convert it to the byte and then uh, send it to the and set it to the pop sub message. And finally, we publish it uh, uh, using a uh, uh, pub, uh, publisher uh, object that we created before. And uh, we get the publisher ID, published ID uh, from uh, PubSub. So what PubSub does is that as soon as the uh, event is published on PubSub, PubSub attach a publish, uh, a mess, a publish ID and uh, we can get it and we can uh, basically uh, log it or store it somewhere uh, and basically it gives us the uh, acknowledgement that the message has been published successfully on PubSub. Okay, so that's the simple uh, code for the client and uh, to run this client we have to uh, we have to have a, a service account so so that we have the authorization uh, to do, do or write to the PubSub topic and once we run the Client will see that console has all these messages with the published ID. This is the ID at, uh, assigned by Cloud Pops Up uh, for for our for our, for our events because we have uh, just logged it right over here. 
Now let's go to the step two, uh, which is to we talk about data ingestion. Now publisher has published the message to the uh, cloud pub sub. Uh, the next step is to view uh, those messages if they are uh, successfully published in pub sub or not. So basically visualizing if it's uh, there or not. So we can go to the cloud uh, pub sub uh, section in Google Cloud for platform. I'll see. Uh, I'll show you in the hands on uh, where it is it. Uh, but this is the uh, UI looks like and uh, we can click on the view message section it will basically ask you to select the subscription uh, for the topic uh, and uh, once you select we can pull the message and see that on UI so uh, in the UI here I can see that they're like hello, hello streaming zero one two three four five six is coming so yeah it's uh, successfully publishing those messages the step three, uh, step three is very important because it's uh, now we are we are moving to the stream processing part, and uh, I'm using Cloud Dataflow, uh, which is uh, Google's uh, backend to uh, do the distributed processing uh, for streaming uh, and batch both the data. Uh, Google Dataflow basically uses Apache Beam SDK. Apache Beam uh, is um, Apache Beam provides the SDK to write batch and uh, stream both the uh, both type of jobs and we can submit to the uh, uh, distributed processing engine such as cloud data flow or spark or flink uh, and so on so uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna read the message from cloud pops up uh, we'll filter our uh, message uh, by uh, message name and the integer count so uh, when we publish hello streaming one two three four five uh, something like that we'll just split it the stream portion and the integer part and uh, in we'll write that into google bigquery so it's pretty neat uh, library uh, where we can just uh, write down that what we are doing with our uh, message so if you see the first line here we uh, reading from pubsub we are converting uh, the pub sub message into the BigQuery table row. We are writing to the uh, table rows, and that's all. So there are three type of transaction we are doing for here. Okay. So, and uh, what in the convert to table row area? I am also trying to do the processing for. We are, I'm also doing the log. I'm also performing the logic. But basically, you can separate these two uh, uh, part. First, uh, first, basically uh, process, processing the element and separating those message and count, and then uh, converting into the BigQuery uh, table row. Uh, but here, I'm doing uh, together. So uh, the, the the logic is pretty straightforward. Uh, message. I'm reading the uh, message from PubSub. I'm trying to split uh, that message and i am trying to uh, get the uh, integer part and i am trying to get the message part and uh, finally uh, i am trying to put i am trying to create a table row for bigquery and setting those two values so there is no uh, complex uh, thing that we are doing uh, for processing perspective uh, so it's pretty straightforward okay now we have our data processing part ready uh, so we can basically run our maven command and uh, execute the data flow job uh, once the data flow job is uh, uh, ready we can see that in uh, ui provided by data flow in gcp so uh, whatever message we written for the transfer in the transformation like reading from pubsub converting to table row writing to big query will be visible over here we can click and we can visualize each step uh, and uh, lots of data metadata related to that job will be available on the right side of the project of the UI sorry okay and uh, yeah when we click over here we can see that how many elements are getting in uh, or how many elements uh, we are reading from pubsub what is the throughput how many elements uh, what is the size and so on the fourth part is very important it's about data sync so we go to the big Query, uh, so we can go to the BigQuery uh, by clicking on hamburger menu on Google Cloud and uh, we can open the BigQuery. Uh, what we have to do for this demo is that we have to create a data set and inside that data set we can create a table uh, that uh, the, the schema of that table would be pretty straightforward that we store a string message and we store the integer count. So 
those two uh, columns we would need in the table and uh, once that table is ready uh, and data flow is running we can see that the data flow is writing to pick query so total number of records here is 218 uh, because after that I just kill the client uh, and uh, yeah we can also see the size etc and once the data is published data is uh, sorry uh, uh, written to BigQuery we can query the data and we can see that this message over here and the count finally we can also see that how what is the maximum uh, number that was uh, published by our client code and uh, it's 217 because it started with the index 0 so conclusion yes this is a uh, pretty straightforward very simple and a very good way to get started with the streaming but as you know streaming is pretty uh, stream processing is pretty complex area and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, small or integrated things involved which we need to take care of such as uh, when you do the stream processing you have to do understand how the windowing works how the watermarks work and so on so but it's a very good way to get started and gets your hand dirty on gcp so this is about my first part i'll second part i'll try to uh, do the hands-on uh, all these four steps and uh, we'll make sure that things are running as we expected so thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video